Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have got the essentials that you need for fall and winter, completely dedicated to outerwear. So if you're living in Canada like me, or if you're anywhere where it's getting a little bit cooler this time of year and you need something not parka worthy yet, but just something that you can layer with that's gonna go really well with a bunch of different outfits. I've got casual, I've got more dressy. I've basically got you covered for outerwear. So in this video, I have... I have 12 new pieces. They're all new. I haven't shown any of them but one, I think, on my channel before. So chances are, if you clicked on this video, you're probably in the market for either a new coat or a new jacket and at least one of these pieces is gonna check all of the boxes that you have as far as a checklist of what you need but I really wanted to show these to you now before the weather gets super cold it's actually snowing right now as we speak so if you're already in a climate like mine you're gonna probably need one more that I'm gonna show you towards the end but all of these are just so good I couldn't wait any longer so without further ado let's get started the first one, as you can tell, is right here. And I don't know if there's anything more me than a cream-colored jacket with gilded buttons, a little bit of vintage flair. It has the best belt I think I've ever seen. Let me try it on for you. Oh my goodness, it's so, so pretty. Look at this jacket. This is so good. Oh my goodness, I think I'm obsessed with this. I need to go through all of the little details with you. But obviously starting off, it's got this beautiful collar with the epaulets that sort of come down instead of across on the shoulder, which I've never actually seen done before, but I love that about this one. It just makes it a little bit more detailed and different. I could always pop the collar, which if my mom is watching, this is gonna be how she prefers it, I can guarantee it. But these gilded buttons next to the cream, this amazing vintage inspired belt, especially the fact that it's a dropped waistline and then a pleated skirt. I just can't believe that one, it fits as well as it does. The sleeves are always something that I struggle with. To me, a sleeve is never long enough. It needs to come across your wrist bone and when that doesn't happen, the whole thing just looks completely off. But this fits me like a glove. It's actually from Guess. I'm not sure what year it's from. It's in a size extra small, just in case anyone was wondering. And for the record, I'm gonna have links to all either the exact same or similar jackets linked down below in the order that I show them. So if you are interested in shopping, I'm gonna have everything linked down below. Next up is this one, and I realized that I just was talking about sleeve length, and this one doesn't actually come to my wrist bone, but it totally goes along with the aesthetic of this cropped fur jacket. Now this color is insane. You guys know that I normally stick to neutrals, but I'm telling you, when I saw this dusty rose, I was hooked. I knew as soon as I saw it that I was gonna walk out of the store with it because I could not pass on this color. I think it really, what is going on with my voice? I think it really brings out my skin tone. In one of my recent videos, which I'll have linked up above, I talked about the mistake of wearing the wrong colors with your skin tone, and I think this one is just doing all of the right things. So this is actually from Montreal. I was just recently there with my husband on our honeymoon, and I actually went into a shop that I follow on Instagram that I had never actually been to the brick and mortar store of before, and it's called Rouge Boutique. It has some of the greatest designer consigned finds I've ever seen. Their Instagram feed is always packed with amazing unique pieces. Whoever's sourcing for that store is doing such a good job because I could have bought everything that was in there. So a little disclaimer, this is actually genuine fur. If that is something that bothers you, please, I'm gonna have a link, wow, lots of links in this video. I'm gonna have a link down below of an article that's actually explaining why genuine fur is better for the environment than faux. I'm not here to try and convert anybody or change anyone's opinion. If this is something that you're into, great. If it's not your thing, we can still be friends and we can still talk about fashion. But this coat was too good to pass up on and it's from the brand Trussardi, which is an Italian brand. Actually, when I lived in Italy, it was something that was super popular and something very like upscale, high class, 
high price tags and so when I saw this one for the price it still has the tags on it so I can show it to you if you need proof it was $275 which for first of all a fur coat one that's in amazing condition might I add is just an incredible price if you are interested in genuine fur and you just are of the opinion that it's going to be out of your price range please do yourself a favor just look at vintage or even thrift stores honestly you can come across some amazing genuine fur pieces and they are just so much warmer so much more durable long lasting better quality softer like i cannot say enough good things a piece like this one that is cropped can go with any sort of an outfit especially one like this that's just super easy black underneath black leather boots it's a no-brainer you've got to get it if you find something like this but i couldn't believe it when i found this one i just love it okay what are we on number three this is the deal with this one this is a vintage escada blazer which if anybody knows the brand Escada, if you're looking for like a newly released piece that's similar to this, you're looking in like the 12 to 15 or so hundred dollar range. I got this for $26. $26! Like, are you kidding me? When I saw it and I saw the price, I thought I was dreaming. This, I think, might be my absolute favorite blazer in my wardrobe. It's so good. It has the beautiful double E's on the silk lining inside of this wool blazer. It is so soft. It's definitely a refined wool because it doesn't have that sort of itchy feeling to it. These beautiful vintage looking gold buttons with the Jaguar heads on them are just stunning. I love them so much. But this is like the greatest blazer for literally any occasion. It can literally be worn in any way and I couldn't believe that I found it. So I was very, very happy to snatch it up. An amazing leather jacket is something that everybody needs. Men and women both need it in their closet and this one just fits me like an absolute glove. And that's the trick is to find one that fits you to perfection. This one I also got in Montreal. Also from a consignment shop, a little bit less on the high-end side compared to Rue's Boutique. That was definitely more high-end than this one. The shop that I got this one from was called Empire Exchange or EE and I'll obviously have it linked down below but the trick to a good leather jacket is to just have it fit your body amazingly. So this one for example, I'm just wearing with some full leather leggings so it might be a little bit hard to see the definition but where it hits me is just perfect. It's like right 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 at my waist which is awesome I love this asymmetric zipper because when I do it up it just adds a little bit like extra visual appeal with how it's off to one side a styling tip for a leather jacket is to pop the collar because like this it just always looks good a leather jacket will never go out of style this one is genuine leather it cost me I think $60 so they don't need to be super expensive this is another thing that you can thrift really easily but one like this is just perfect for taking you from summer nights to fall during the day, layering it up with a scarf, or for winter time, I've got something else coming up that's going to be perfect for when it's a little bit chillier, just adding another layer on top. I'm dying to show you that one. It's coming up very soon, by far the most expensive item that I'm gonna show you, but oh my gosh, you'll know it when you see it. It's Stunning. This next piece is actually from Sidefeel, which is a brand on Amazon, and I've actually shown this exact one on my channel before. This is the only one I promise that I'm repeating that you guys would have already seen, but I just had to include it one more time. This is another one that you can layer. It is on the thinner side, so if you're wearing this as your outermost piece in the office, you can definitely use this on a day-to-day. -day. It's just super Balmain inspired, and you guys know that I love Balmain. I've got a little bit of a collection going, and I actually have a new piece to show you guys coming up in one of the next videos. I'm gonna keep the suspense going a little bit, but oh my gosh, the Balmain style is one that just, to me, is not getting old. So to get something that has that sort of feel at an incredibly reduced price point, probably like 98% reduced, then this is a great option if you wanted to do the Balmain look on a budget. There's nothing like a white blazer, gilded buttons, again, this is just such a good staple. I'll have the video linked where I talk about the other blazers that Sidefeel sent to me, but this was one that I just had to show you one more time. Look at that cinch. Look 
at the waist on this. All it took was me watching one of Karen Britchick's YouTube videos and now all of a sudden I'm looking at every thrift store I can for an oversized men's trench coat and look at the one that I found. I'm crazy about this color which I'm shocked that I'm so drawn to but it's this beautiful deep forest green but it's the cinch for me. Oh my gosh. This is what is amazing about menswear and especially oversized menswear is that you can get a cinch on your waist that makes you look like you have a waist this big. It's incredible. This, as I mentioned, sort of, I thrifted. I can't even tell you how many times I've worn it already. This is something that I'm reaching for more than the most expensive coat or jacket in my wardrobe. It's this one that's just taking the cake for me lately. I'm just reading the label and it's from Freed and Freed International Limited. It says coat all weather man's double breasted land. Don't know what that means. Size 70 42. Don't know what that means either. 100% wool. You can definitely tell. November 1989. So this is vintage Vintage, vintage, vintage. It's like, it's it's a good one. Regardless of what the size means or even when it was released, I think knowing that it was from the November 1989 collection is pretty cool. If you don't have an oversized trench in your wardrobe, it's now a necessity for me. But this is really speaking to me and it's just a shacket. It's been so popular lately. Everybody has one, but this one I think is really cute and very like Isabel Morant inspired. I'm still looking to get the Isabel Morant Gabrielle coat in her 12 collection. Just the one that was like super popular. I loved it. I passed on it when I shouldn't have and now I'm kicking myself for it. In the meantime, this is what's going to have to do and it's the much more affordable version. Everything so far hasn't been very expensive, but this is definitely on the more affordable side, it's from Feel again, the brand on Amazon. The only thing that I'm going to tell you, definitely wear something that's either long sleeved against it because the inside is not lined, so you get a little bit of texture. But as far as the aesthetic goes, this is one where you can either go out and walk your dog in or just layer it with a beautiful white knit scarf, like a really chunky one, a pair of sunglasses, and it just so happens that they also sent me this one in white. This is the white version. Obviously it came with a belt and adds so much more shape and dimension to it. Just cinches me exactly where I want to be, just sort of tightened in a little bit. It's just something super chill and casual and definitely on the more affordable side for lounging around. Maybe you're looking for one that's a little bit more high-end but can't really pay the full price at this point. I think these are a really great way to go for the meantime. I don't think I've ever worn a denim jacket on my channel or even probably a denim jacket in the last five years. I just never really gravitate towards them but when I saw this one, it's from a brand that I still can't really figure out. I think it's a more to gain. Uh, there's a year in that on the tag. I'll show all of this to you in the cutaways, but it's just such a great option for a denim jacket. First of all, I love the wash. Sometimes I find that darker wash denim jackets can look a little bit dated more quickly. This is obviously like super casual. I love the oversized. I love how far down my hands it comes to me. This is very Hailey Bieber-esque. Whenever I see something that basically goes down to your knuckles on your fingertips, I'm just reminded of Hailey Bieber for whatever reason. But this is just a great example of something that can be fit into your wardrobe on the daily so easily. You just sort of throw it on and you're good to go and that's it. You don't really have to think about it. But you can dress it up with so many different things. If you wanted to do a big chunky wool knit scarf in black, make it really high contrast, have the rest of your outfit black, you could do like a wide leg leather trouser on the bottom, some pointed toe leather boots, really play with the proportions of things and the chunkiness on top, wide leg leather trousers, then like cinch it in again with the point of those boots, the look would be amazing. But this is just a foundation piece. It's the one that you start with, that you build on. I feel like I'm the one that's late to the party. I'm sure everybody already has a denim jacket that they go to. The light wash I think looks really good on every single skin tone. I think if you've got a black leather jacket and a light wash blue denim jacket, 
you're good to go with like the casual jacket section of your wardrobe. How many times can I say the word jacket? Let's move on to the pièce de résistance. I saved the best for last. I really hope you love them as much as I do. If you made it this far and you are as excited as I am, I don't know if that's possible, for this next one that's my absolute favorite, actually my next two are my favorites coming up, then please do hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. This would be the perfect time to do it while I'm getting set for the next one. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So, I think we need to talk about this. It's incredible. I don't think I've ever worn anything that has turned so many heads and I know that might sound a little bit conceited but literally like I'm not lying people when I first got this let me backtrack for a second I'm getting ahead of myself I got this when I was in Montreal again same time on my honeymoon with my husband and we went into the most incredible store it was like my version of a candy store just let me explain the quality of this because it's unlike anything I've ever put on my body before so this is Silver Fox. It's obviously a vest. It's not a full jacket. This is the piece that I was wearing before the leather jacket. And I really feel like what I'm wearing is the perfect example of pairing something super affordable with something more on the expensive side. But oh my goodness, this is the greatest vest ever. The style of it, the cut of it, the fact that it's cropped just does everything that I want it to. And the reason why I love so much that it's cropped is because especially when you're wearing like a fluffier fur like this, whether it is faux or genuine, like there's no judgment here if you're wearing faux fur because I've got a lot of faux fur in my closet. To be honest, I wish you guys could actually see what's in front of me right now because I have like coats all over the floor to help with the sound just so that it's not so echoey. But anyway, when you're wearing a fur that is this puffy, whether it's genuine or faux, if you have it at a longer length, especially if you are shorter, then it can kind of just like overwhelm your body and make it so that you look like you're sort of drowning in the garment. If it's just too big and too bulky, I love a good oversize, but when it's over exaggerated, it can just be too much. So where this hits me again is like just at my hip bones, which is amazing. It's the perfect length and can be worn so many different ways. Of course you can wear this on your own, but how I'm gonna wear it most often is literally gonna be exactly like this on top of a leather jacket. It could definitely be worn on top of a black blazer. Anything that just makes this vest stand out is exactly what I wanna wear with it. Even down to how I wear my hair, just having it super slick back, just off center part and long hanging in the back is just gonna allow for the piece to get all of the attention that, in my opinion, it deserves. Just as a disclaimer, like I did not get these all at once. As I mentioned, a few of them I did get in Montreal. Some of them have been around literally since August. So it's not that I've just bought 12 new pieces, all brand new right now. I've had these sort of collecting for a while and just wanted to wait until it was the right time to like put a proper video together. Now's the time. Anyway, let's get to the last one. Oh my goodness. Yes, it's another fur coat. I have a little bit of an obsession. I'm sorry to say for any vegans out there, I ended up getting this at such an incredible price that you wouldn't believe that it's actually genuine fur for the price that I paid. You would have thought that it was like polyester, rayon, that sort of thing, but no, like it's incredibly, incredibly beautiful. It's in mint condition. Literally, I don't think it's ever been worn. The inside of it is beautifully lined in this like mauve undertone silver and I just love it. Now, because you can tell it is definitely like oversized, but I'm pretty sure when I'm wearing it, I'm gonna be belting it just because I like having a little bit of cinch at the waist, especially with something this puffy. It just sort of makes it look a little more shapely and a little bit more intentional. But really, even just going to the grocery store or something when it's the dead of winter and freezing outside, this is what's gonna keep you so warm and something that I think it's just worth buying into good quality because you'll have it for the rest of your life. And this for me is definitely one of those pieces. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sorry at this point, my voice is completely not as it was at the beginning. It's getting a little bit raspy right now. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more of me coming very, very soon. I'll have another one about Valenciennes coming up this Wednesday. So I'll see you all then.
Bye.